Hi guys, on the back of yesterday's uh, soft plastic jig head video, um, I've been asked to talk about jig heads. Um, I'm going to start off by saying I'm no expert at all, so I'm just going to tell you what my favourites are and when I fish them. Um, there's no science to it. I'm sure you can have a look at the Hooked at Lure Fishing book where they go into details about different types of jig heads and how they move differently, the football heads and the rest of it, but I don't tend to use them much. I might just quickly at the end show you some other jig heads I've got here that I don't actually use that much because the five that I got work really, really well for me. I'm going to start off with a very, very, very tiny micro jig head. I'm not even sure what the weight is on these. I think it's about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 grams. Might be even slightly less. But it's got a really, really small hook. Uh, and basically, I use these when I'm trying to fish as light as physically possible. Um, I've actually used them in freshwater more than saltwater. Mainly when I'm fishing for rudder, I put a little tiny one-inch worm lure and I just literally just skim this across the surface. Obviously, if it's a bit light because of the sort of, I basically use it for the size of the hook, but if it's a bit light, you can add a split shot behind it. It works really, really well. So yeah, um, if you want to get these, they're from agmfishing.co.uk. I've not managed to find anybody else that makes jig heads this small. If you do have any, please give me some uh, links to try because I wouldn't mind trying a few different ones. But yeah, these are really good. They come in a few different color heads and um, get the bright silver, but the dark ones obviously stops the fish going for the head and actually going for the hook instead. The next one, I don't know the full name, but it's a Daiwa jig head, and they come from Johnny Laffer, so it's, I think it's japanjohnnylaffer.co.uk, so but uh, just search for Johnny Japan Johnny Laffer on Google and you'll find him. And these Daiwa jig heads are absolutely lethal. They're made of tungsten. Um, these are the free ground ones, which are the ones that I've been using. They're actually out of stock at the moment. Johnny, get them back in. I need some more. I've only got two left. Yeah, these are or basically like these because they've got a really good size casting weight, an open hook, so I'll show you. So the hook's slightly open, so I've got a really good hook up. Um, the barb's really, really small, which is nice, but I've actually ground this one off, I think. Yeah, they're just really, really good. So for the size of the hook, you can get a decent cast on it as well. Um, I use these loads basically yeah, all the time. I just bounce them around on the bottom. I don't tend to use them as a sort of swimming jig head. I normally use something a bit lighter for that. So yeah, these are bounce around on the bottom and disturb up the sand. And then obviously I normally put like a one, two inch sort of... Um, soft plastic on the back sometimes the scented soft plastics they're absolutely lethal this is what i was using the other day in the video i did with the new une une lures these jig heads rock next up i don't know the full name again but these are from savage gear i think they might be the savage gear dart or something like that or but um they've got a nice little round profile head and what i really like is a little um resin blob on the hook which obviously helps keep the lure on and um, again, just like the swimming action of these, you can just, I sort of fish these on the drop as much as possible. And they come in a bunch of different weights. I think I've got them as light as 0 0.9 grams up to about three grams. Really, really nice jig heads. And then, yeah, like I said, I fish these on the drop, which is really nice. And then I've got my favorites and they're both from Eco Gear. So a lot of you will probably know them. And that's the Eco Gear Shirazu. Um, I sometimes get these confused which one's which, but I'm pretty sure these are the Shirazu heads. Um, it's got the little sort of close-up like fish eye little sort of head. They're just really, really nice. Very, very similar to those um, Savage Gear ones there. Uh, these come down to 0 0.5 grams, and I use these all the time when I'm smelt fishing. Um, they're just really, really good when you've got a nice calm day, hardly any wind, and you can fish really, really light. You can slowly fish on the drop. Absolutely lethal for Pollock. And then the other one from a very similar range, it's the Shirazu Fine Head. And I have these in all different weights, down to 0 0.5 as well. But they got to about 2.3, maybe even slightly higher. But I use the 2.3 ones quite a lot. These are really nice. Same sort of thing. What I like about these are if they do hit the bottom, they stand up slightly. So um, let's see if I can get this to balance my thumb. My cat's going to get in the way there. Just be careful with the cat on there. There we go. So they actually stand up which means that your lure is slightly sort of sticking up off the ground. So you can sit these quite still. If you've got sort of a little paddle, paddle like light paddle tail or a ball tail or something like that, and you can sit it still and there's a bit of current, that will actually still wiggle whilst it's sat still. So it's still fishing without moving. So you can keep it in the strike zone for quite a while. Really, really good when you're fishing the bottom. But I want to go do fish these on the drop. Really, really good jig heads. So that is my top five. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the other ones I've got here that I don't use that much. I've got the sort of... Um, these are decoy, they're sort of the rugby ball heads. Um, I'll be honest, I just keep snagging with them, so I just haven't used them very much. So if you do know how to use them, please tell me. It says that they're, obviously it says they're snagless, but obviously the ball is quite wide. And it's like an oval shape, so it just finds its way into rocks and stuff like that quite well. Obviously it's probably not the hook that's actually snagging up. So there's probably ways to fish these, probably really good on clean ground, stuff like that. And they call them football heads on the back. I'm just looking now, actually. But yeah, so I've got those. Um, I probably should give a bit more of a try. I've got uh, loads and loads of different sort of freshwater ones from um, Fox and Gunky and stuff like that. I've got a box over there just full of jig heads. Um, but they're sort of the standard sort 
sort of um, J-hook round ball jig heads. They're really, really handy. The problem I've got with them is a lot of them have got quite big hooks. So when, especially when you're species hunting, you probably want the smaller hooks. But if you're fishing for pollock and bass and stuff like that, the traditional J-hook round heads are probably really, really good. And I've got these little tiny jackal ones again. I think they're from Japan, Johnny Lurfer. They're really, really nice. And I've got a few other, I probably haven't got them here, but I've got, I've got a few mag ticks and stuff like that. Then, Jig head storage, just quickly before I go, I use these sort of um, boxes. You can get them from AliExpress or Amazon or whatever. If you want a link, give me a shout and I'll send you the Amazon links. This one's about eight quid and they come in three different sizes. So you can get this sort of size and then there's one that's sort of this size and then a really, really big one. Um, what I like about this is I can just stick it in my pocket. So last night I went fishing um, on Bricks and Breakwater on my own. I literally didn't take my fishing bag. I just stopped at the car, chucked some um, pliers and stuff in my pocket and a de uh, the scourger and then I put this in the other pocket and then... Um, yeah, and a pack of soft plastic lures. I didn't bother fishing um, much else last night. It was really, really handy. So, yeah. Cool, that's it. Look, once again, feel free to shout out the next video you want me to make, and I'll see you all in the future. Cheers, guys.